Hi guys, thank you for coming here again. I'm going to talk about cinema. My name is Ju Pereira and I'm going to talk about a movie that I love it so much. It's called Green Book. I, I took the, the paper. Um, it's performed by Viggo Montersen and Marcella Ali. Oh, I'm sorry, my accent. Um, this movie was great is by Peter Fairley. Uh, he made a lot of comedies uh, like Crazy About Mary, but this movie is very different uh, because it's based on a true story about a musician, a classic musician called Donald Shirley. Don Shirley. Um, it, it happens in uh, 80 months of the 60 years uh, of the last century as as you know uh, it was the rise of the revolution of rights about the uh, negro uh, minority um, bob kennedy john Fitzgerald kennedy uh, luther king has made a true effort to put uh, equality among uh, white and uh, um, African, uh, Negro, uh, another color uh, uh, race to become a more equal society. So this Donald Shirley, uh, it was a musician, a, a genius, um, made the decision to go uh, make a tour uh, by the deep South America. The deep South racist America in that time that uh, um, it was um, an apartheid uh, uh, among uh, whites and Negroes. So uh, it was uh, different bedrooms, uh, different hotels, everything was separate. It was very humiliating and very unfair to that community it was uh, uh, still uh, taken as second class. Even so, he made that choice and he uh, um, um, uh, gave a job to Vigo Montarsen, Tony Lip, an Italian, that became a, uh, the, his chauffeur and he had to go buy that green book. What is that green book? It's amazing, I didn't know. In that time, they had a book where people of color have to go to certain places. It, it's, it's, you know, it's amazing, I, I just couldn't believe it. This book has stopped to be uh, sold and in 1966. So, but until then, they give the advice, you have to go this hotel this year, this, that, and this, that, because you couldn't mix with uh, white people. What became more hypocrisy, what became more disgusting, is that this, this Don Charlie, that is a, a, a very refined person, very educated, uh, um, a true uh, gentleman, uh, made uh, his performance in the uh, palace of white people, rich people, and all it was okay. When he want to get uh, to the bedroom or uh, have a simple dinner, he couldn't mix with the white people. This is incredible. They, uh, it's like they, they, it was like two separate things. Uh, they would love to see him playing piano because he was so amazing, but then he was not a person, he was inferior and have to go to another uh, slum, another place to, to go uh, to, to um, make his, his things because the whites couldn't bear to be with him, but they could uh, listen to uh, his music. It, it's shocking um, and um, uh, make me see, and that is still true, how persons in a certain circumstances, a certain contest, they are a person. After a while they are 
completely different. A person, even today, have is like I have two personalities. Uh, they have no principles. Uh, now they do one thing, then then do another, completely different. So this Donald Shirley uh, made this. Why? Then we uh, see in the end to change mentality. In a way, he made this the same the same uh, uh, work of Luther King, just in another way. Even so, Don Shirley was a very lonely person. Uh, he, he, he was not feeling very good with, among the colored people and also with white people, because uh, this, this, this true consciousness, the white and the, the, the black one, uh, uh, divides and is unfair. So he, he was like an outsider because he was um, a genius of the music, but nobody really, really accept him. The one that really accept him was Vigo Montarson, Tony Lip in the movie, that in the beginning was a kind of racist, but then become a true friendship between the two men. And that friendship lost until 2013. Uh, I mean, this century, just uh, 50, uh, when they died, uh, 50, uh, five years ago. So they, they died uh, just in the space of months one in January and another in April. So they become friends and uh, they like a lot with each other and uh, it, they were like soulmates. So uh, this is the true uh, uh, lesson that uh, the color of the skin has no sense. The persons are always are, are the same. Uh, this, this is just an, another invention of humankind uh, to get power. The, the re, like religions, like racism, and fascism, and, and all that, that stuff, to make the others um, uh, less than ourselves. Because we are all the same. We are all homo sapiens. Like, uh, everyone else. So the film was very good, the scenario, the clothes, uh, the, the film was perfect in my opinion. Uh, it was uh, pretty um, strange for me to see an Italian hit so much. <laughs> it was always hitting and smoking. I didn't like that, but maybe on that time people uh, smoke a lot and uh, hit a lot. Even so, I think it's a movie to to get in the Oscars. In my opinion, it must be Marshall Ali. It was uh, Vigo Mortensen is a great, uh, of course, a great actor. But the best part it was uh, who made Don Shirley. He was perfect. Um, I recommend this film. It changed our mind. I didn't know about this. Uh, I knew about Luther King and uh, all the uh, other uh, activists against racism, but this I didn't know. And I, I got pretty uh, amazed with this. And uh, the film is very true about the reality. I got uh, a search on the net. So go see the, this movie. It is very, very good. Beijinhos. Kisses. See you next time. Bye-bye. Ciao.